Hello and welcome to Tara Cherie. It is great to be here with you and we're going to continue our journey about essential oils and again today's material comes from the Modern Essential Books, the sixth edition. You can actually find that by going to www.aromatools.com. Go underneath the first section on the left where it will discuss actually about um, books and I, brochures I believe is what it is. If you click on that, um, it will be the first one underneath the book section. You will want the sixth edition and today um, we're going to be discussing, remember, everything that I, I use or do comes from this book. In fact, um, I was just having a conversation with somebody this morning about this. It's really important that you know where your source is for actually getting essential oils because even though everything that you use possibly in life, whether food, uh, medicine, holistic medicine, everything in moderation is great, but it's really important to know the proper usages and doses just from the standpoint that you may or may not have all the knowledge that you need in using those essential oils yet. You're either getting started, you're still learning, you're still growing, which is great, that's fine. But you do really want to have something that can hold you accountable, that you can really properly follow instructions and know what it is that you're using and why you're using it. So please do yourself a favor, pick this book up. It's very inexpensive, especially for all the knowledge that it has contained in it and do yourself a favor and actually purchase this if you're going to use essential oils if you're going to use them on a regular basis is really important for you to be able to invest your time your efforts your money it's no different than investing into your college education or your business education if you use essential oils make this a part of your education um, it's very reasonably priced and will give you more than what you need in order to use essential oils successfully. So the thing that we're going to talk about today is the difference in soothing essential oils and invigorating essential oils and also some bath and shower tips. Now I'm not going to share everything because you really need to look, take a look at this book for yourself. Um, but some of the soothing essential oils that you can use, and this is for like relaxation, um, can be used in massage, could be used in your pillowcase before bed like we've covered in previous videos. The soothing oils are lavender, serenity, ling ling, roman, chamomile, clary sage, orange, citrus bliss, vetiver, geranium, melissa, sandalwood, bergamot, and rose. And the invigorating um, oils would be peppermint, eucalyptus, um, white fir, lemon, basil, wintergreen, and thyme. So if you're looking for some good relaxation sleeping tips, um, like we talked about before, you can place a couple drops on your pillow, you can make a linen spray, you can have a relaxing bath using one to three drops in your warm water. Um, if you're looking for energizing tips, you can um, diffuse the invigorating ones I just shared into your diffuser if you've got one. You can also, um, a really good one that um, I actually like using is peppermint. Um, you can use lemon orange, um, any of those types to add to your water, to your smoothie. It'll either give you a minty, fresh uh, smoothie in the morning, especially if you have like fruits or vegetables. Mint is a really good one to add, like peppermint, spearmint, that kind of thing. Um, if you're looking for more of a citrus flavor, I suggest citrus bliss or orange oil. Either one of them are really good. Um, or grapefruit seeds. That will help curb your appetite. It will help um, break down the fat in your body and will overall help your metabolic rate. So I definitely recommend um, using grapefruit. That's a really good one. Um, and then if you're going to use it in your shower, you can put a few um, into the floor of the shower or in a shower gel if you know how to do that. And you can find a basic way to remedy actually creating a shower gel formula. I'm sure you go onto Pinterest or you could Google how to do that to make sure that you have the best ingredients for that. If you are wanting some bath and shower tips, um, for bath water, it's three to six drops of an oil into your bath water. Um, we'll separate as the water calms down and the skin will quickly have those oils penetrate it and the oils will go into your body and will add to either that energy or that relaxation, whatever it is that you're looking for. 
Um, just make sure that if you are in the tub that you're soaking in it for at least 15 minutes is what they recommend. Um, bath oil, you could always add one to five drops to two tablespoons fractionated coconut oil and uh, stir that before bathing and then you can just use it. Um, there's recipes in here for bath and shower gels. You could also create your own bath salts. Um, it's three to ten drops of essential oil with one to one, I'm sorry, one four to half cup of bath salts or if you don't have bath salts, Epsom salt works just as effectively in warm bath water before bathing. You can um, put some into your washcloth. You can use it in body sprays, foot baths, hand baths, and like we already said, the shower. Um, you can either put it in the floor of it, um, or you can inhale while you're in the shower. Maybe a couple drops, I think, in the shower floor would probably be sufficient for you for doing that. So for more tips, strategies, if you have any questions about what we covered today, um, again, my goal is not to give all these secrets away because, uh, in other words, you wouldn't be pur purchasing that book. And I definitely believe that you should purchase that book, especially if you're looking at moving forward and using essential oils or you already have them and you're looking for all of their effective uses. This, again, is the book for you. If you have any questions or I talk too fast and you want to know where to purchase that, um, you can actually find us, real simple, on Facebook, Tara Cherie. You can go to our blog at www.terracherie.org. Um, and if you want to know how to spell that, T-A-R-A-C-H-E-R-I-E.org. Or um, you can also connect with us by sending us an email to terracherieconsulting at gmail.com. Again, T-A-R-A-C-H-E-R-I-E, consulting, all one word, at gmail.com. Until next time, make it a great day and be blessed. Bye-bye.